Hmm? Yes, here. Vice Dean, and I would like to welcome all of you to the Rector School of Dental Medicine's White Coat Ceremony for the class of 2022. This year, our venue is this absolutely beautiful Delta Dental Educational Conference Center. For the parents and loved ones, this is where your sons and daughters have been attending presentations and will be attending lectures each day for the next four years. We have also invited those that have been newly accepted into the internationally trained DMD program. They are now members of the class of 2020, and they too have been asked to become part of this ceremony as well. These 36 doctors have international degrees representing 13 countries from around the world, and have added to the rich diversity of the student body here at the Rutgers School of Dental Medicine. We extend a warm welcome to all the new students from the class of 2020 and the class of 2022 and to your families present here tonight as well. I'm very excited that we will have the student government president, the presidents from each of the current classes, as well as a former chair and mentor to the Foresight student leaders on stage with us here tonight to welcome the new members of the classes call each of them forward, but most importantly, to assist them with putting on the white coat, followed by signing the RSDM Code of Professional Conduct and Ethics, which is over to my right. This is an extremely important part of the ceremony, as these are your classmates, and in, es in essence, your mentors for the upcoming years. They understand the symbolism of the white coat and the ethical responsibility that comes with wearing that coat. But before we proceed with tonight's program, I would like a moment to introduce the platform party. I would ask that you please hold your applause until the end, and when I read your name, if you would, please stand. Dr. Cecile Feldman, Dean of Rutgers School of Dental Medicine. Dr. Peter DeSissia, Secretary of the New Jersey Dental Association, past president of the New Jersey State Board of Dentistry, and a professor at RSDM. Dr. Anthony Volpe, a consultant and former vice president of the Clinical Dental Research and Scientific Affairs for Colgate Palmolive Company, a member of the charter class of the New Jersey Dental School, the class of 1960, and the 2015 <laughs> inductee to the Rutgers Hall of Distinguished Alumni. I think that's enough, but that he's a wonderful person to say all these things. Dr. Andrew Sullivan, Chair of the Honor Council, as well as Chair of the Department of Periodontics. Dr. Michael Israel, Class of 2018 and the 2017 recipient of the RSDM Student Professionalism Award. Mr. Anu Shah, Student Government President. Mr. Thomas Vaccaro, sorry, President of the Class of 2019. Mr. Justin Dinowitz, President of the Class of 2020. Mr. George Schreider, President of the Class of 2021. 
Mr. Jonathan Matute, former chair and mentor to the Foresight Student Leaders. Thank you for being here tonight. <laughs> Depending on where you're sitting, if you're looking toward the center back, there are chairs of departments, deans, faculty, and administrative staff, as well as other dignitaries from within the Rutgers family and those from New Jersey Dental Association, officers and delegates, uh, and also from, New Jer from the New Jersey Dental Alumni Association that have taken time from their busy schedules to be here as well. In addition, I want to acknowledge the members of the class of 2021 here with us today. These are the foresight leaders that have realized the importance of helping the new students and due to that have given up their last week of vacation to be here during orientation to help guide and answer questions with the goal of making your transition here to RSDM as smooth as possible. They have been and will continue to be wonderful role models to our current students as well as our new students. I would like all of you, the chairs, deans, staff, NJDA, DAA, and the foresight leaders to please stand to be acknowledged. And thank you for your support of our new class. Very shortly, each member of the class of 2022 and the internationally trained DMD program will be coming to the stage to be presented with the white coat. The bestowing of the white coat began in 2001 with the class of 2005, when the, as first year students, they became the first participants in this symbolic ceremony. Presently throughout the country, it is well known that most if not all medical schools hold a white coat ceremony. And since we have begun in 2001, more and more dental schools have come on board. But I am so very proud to say uh, that we were the first chosen, one of the first chosen in the country to hold such a prestigious and symbolic ceremony. For our students and for your families, it is important for you to recognize this ceremony as an integral part of the beginning of your dental education as well as helping you, as a class, recognize the ethical and professional responsibilities that come with, with, that come with being a future health care provider. It is also a night for you and your families to feel overwhelming pride in the fact that you are here, as a class, receiving this white coat. As Rutgers School of Dental Medicine's faculty, staff, and alumni, we welcome you and are proud to have you as part of our family. And we applaud the class of 2022 and the new members of the class of 2020. I am very pleased to ask Dr. Cecile Feldman, Dean of our school, to come forward with her remarks. Dr. Feldman. Thank you. Good evening. It's a great pleasure to welcome everyone to Rutgers University School of Dental Medicine. I hope that everyone here joins me in a feeling with the excitement that's in the air. Tonight is a special moment, a moment which I hope you will all treasure. For our incoming students, getting your first white coat symbolizes your entry into a learned health profession. And to family and friends who are here to witness this event, be full of pride. There's so much to be proud of. Let me take a moment to describe our incoming classes. Members come from 21 countries speaking 31 different languages. With over 50% female and an age range crossing a generation, diverse doesn't even begin to describe these students. Over one third have dentists within their family tree, and five have relatives who are alumni of the Rutgers School of Dental Medicine. With respect to their collegiate background, our knights, including 14 of the Scarlet Knight variety, outnumber all others. We have many warriors in this class, including pirates, raiders, trailblazers, Maccabees, and fierce highlanders. From the animal kingdom, we have avians, felines, reptiles, mammals, an arachnid, and an insect. Of particular interest is our mastodon, with massive tusks for whom a root canal would require some really long files. Of course, my favorite group, not that I have any favorites, are the canines. 
Several students already have some canine heritage, as there is a Scottish Terrier, a Bulldog, and a Bloodhound in this class. And if Harper School of Dental Medicine would ever have its own mascot, that mascot would definitely need to be a canine, for which my husband and I are partial to the Newfoundland variety. As dentists, we have special relationships with our canines, and we are used to working in drool, which dental professionals call saliva. <laughs> but our incoming classes are better characterized by their commonalities. Their steadfast commitment to social justice, their determination for helping others, and their drive for giving back, making these classes an extraordinary group of exceptional people. <coughs> For incoming students, each of you have worked long and hard, achieving at a level that few others have achieved. And each of you will always have a special place in the Rucker School of Dental Medicine's history. While you will certainly be busy over the next several years, take at least a little time to enjoy your time at Rutgers University and the School of Dental Medicine. Rutgers is a university with 250 years of tradition and achievement. It is one of the nine original colonial colleges in the U.S. and is one of the nation's original land-grant universities. And it's a member of the prestigious American Association of Universities, an association made up of the top research universities in our country. Of particular interest to many is that Rutgers is a member of the Big Ten. And in case you're wondering, of the 14 universities in the Big Ten, there are nine dental schools. Thus, you are all now Scarlet Knights, Knights waging war against caries, gingivitis, periodontal disease, oral cancer, and other disorders. But let's talk about tonight, tonight's ceremony and its meaning. Tonight's white coat ceremony will consist of three elements the cloaking of students in their first white coat, a symbol which has withstood the test of time, the signing of the Rutgers School of Dental Medicine Honor Code, a code which requires that you members of the class of 2022 and the international class of 2020 conduct yourself in a manner which upholds the ideals of a health professional, and the reciting of the oath in the presence of family and friends which commits you to a life of caring for others and doing no harm. So what is dentistry? As oral health professionals, dentists devote their careers to helping people. This assistance can be in the form of creating a smile, alleviating pain, treating craniofacial abnormalities, or helping a patient accept the diagnosis of oral cancer. Dentistry is about being a doctor, promoting wellness, and identifying and treating disease. It's about being a surgeon, removing disease tissue and restoring an individual back to health. It's about being a psychologist, working with people to improve their self-esteem and expanding their opportunities in life. It's about being a sociologist, understanding how culture affects your patient's health and well-being. And it's about being an artist, because smiles do make a difference. We all must remember that oral health is a critical component of overall health, and that systemic diseases often appear in the mouth first. Working closely with our medical, our nursing, and our pharmacy colleagues is imperative if we are to do the best for our patients. It is particularly noteworthy that some patients, including patients over 65 years of age, are twice as likely to visit a dentist than their primary care physicians. And thus, we are often the first to diagnose a patient with diabetes, autoimmune diseases, um, or opioid addiction. So what does a Rutgers School of Dental Medicine degree mean? A Rutgers School of Dental Medicine degree is one which only a limited few have earned. It symbolizes academic excellence, it symbolizes compassion and caring, and it symbolizes honesty and integrity. For anyone working, walking into an office with a Rutgers Doctor of Dental Medicine degree on the wall, there should be no doubt that the individual named is a dentist with whom they can have the fullest confidence. Never, ever can that confidence or trust be lost. As a healthcare professional, patients will entrust in you their private most thoughts. They will entrust in you the ability to make the right decisions for them. And they will entrust in you their most sacred possession, and that is their own well-being. No one will ever be looking over your shoulder to question an action you have taken or a decision you have made. Unequivocally, you must put their well-being above your own. Over the next several weeks, I'll have the opportunity to have a very frank discussion about the importance of integrity and trust. We will take the opportunity to explore what it means to uphold the public trust, what it means to be a member of the learned profession, and what it means to abide by the Rucker School of Dental Medicine Honor Code, a code which reinforces that it's not enough to meet the letter of the code, rather one must meet the spirit of the code. This spirit is what defines a Rucker School of Dental Medicine graduate, and today you will have an opportunity 
to pledge to adhere to this code by fixing your signature upon it in the presence of family and friends. This copy will be framed and displayed in a prominent position in the school, thus serving as a constant reminder of your commitment to uphold its ideals. As a health professional, you also have some very special responsibilities, responsibilities that go beyond what many traditionally think of dentistry. As leaders in your communities, people will look to you for information, for guidance, and action. It's important that you not only know what is right, but that your actions reflect what is right. The white coat which you'll be receiving today is more than just a piece of clothing which protects your street clothing. It's a symbol of knowledge, of trust, of respect, and tradition. Many people look at the white coat with awe. It embodies all that is good with humanity. But with the white coat comes responsibility. Responsibility to always have integrity, responsibility to educate, responsibility to be a leader in your community, and responsibility to give back and assist those who are less fortunate. I remember I was both honored and humbled when I first received my white coat, though not at a white coat ceremony. I remember receiving my first white coat when I started anatomy. What struck me was that I was joining the ranks of a privileged few. I was entrusted with learning the essence of the human body, and that if a fellow human being felt that providing me the opportunity to learn was so important that they entrusted their most sacred gift to me. That gift, of course, was themselves. I also remember the first time I saw my patient with my white coat on. Even though I had no experience, my patient automatically felt secure that they would receive the best care, and they, they trusted my judgment just by the virtue that I had my white coat on. Even though there were complications with his care, I went on to treat his wife and six of his seven kids just because they had their trust in me. To the class of 2022 and the international class of 2020, I hope that when you reflect back on your white coat ceremony, just as I reflected back on the first time I wore my white coat, you remember this day as a defining moment in your lives. It is not enough to be technically competent in diagnosing and treating oral disease, but you must also be compassionate, care for your fellow human beings, be sensitive to their emotional and psychological well-being. I also hope that you remember this day as the beginning of a never-ending journey to acquire new knowledge, a day in which you committed yourself to a lifelong career of helping others. You have been given a gift, a gift of opportunity to pursue a learned health profession, a profession which is exciting, a profession which is fulfilling, and a profession that will provide you an excellent quality of life. But with this gift comes obligations. Obligations to be compassionate, obligations to help those in need, obligations never to forsake the trust awarded to those that bear the special garment that you'll be receiving today, your white coat. Thank you.